Hey guys, today we'll be solving this differential equation dy by dx is equal to 1 upon sine raised to 4x plus cos raised to 4x. So the main aim of the equation is to remove the differential term and bring the equation back to the terms of y and x. So for this, I'm going to start integrating both sides with respect to x so that we directly get dy by dx on the left side of the equation. because it's differential of y with respect to x. So integrating with respect to x will bring this term back to y. And now all that's left to do is to integrate the right side. To integrate the right side, we're going to be using a bunch of cool tricks. So recall that a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. This means that a square plus b square, the whole square, is equal to a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4 plus 2 a square b square. So what we're going to do is we're going to write sine raised to 4 plus cos raised to 4 as sine square x, the whole square, plus cos square x, the whole square. Then we'll add 2 sine square x cos square x. And so that the net effect of what we've added is zero, we're also going to be subtracting the same term. So the denominator is actually the same as before. We've just written it in a different manner. All right, so now we can write this first part of the denominator as sine square x plus cos square x, the whole square, minus two sine square x cos square x. Okay, now recall that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x, which means that sine square 2x will be 4 sine square x cos square x. So in this term, I can multiply and divide by 2 so that I get 4 sine square cos square x by 2. So y is equal to the integral of 1 upon, now notice that sine square x plus cos square x is 1 and 1 square is 1. So this term can be written as 1. Now multiplying and dividing by 2 in this term so that the net effect is 0. So now this can be written as 1 upon 1 minus 4 sine square x cos square x is sine square 2x. And we have a 1 by 2, so 1 by 2 sine square 2x. And now I'm going to be writing this 1 over here as sine square 2x plus cos square 2x because sine square x plus cos square x is 1 and increasing x by a constant, multiplying it by a constant doesn't make a difference, it's still 1. So this becomes minus 1 by 2 sine square 2x. So now sine square 2x minus half of sine square 2x becomes half of sine square 2x. So we have cos square 2x plus half of sine square 2x. And now we're going to be dividing the numerator and the denominator by cos square 2x. So we have 1 upon cos square 2x, cos square 2x upon cos square 2x plus half into sine square 2x upon cos square 2x. 1 upon cos square 2x can be written as secant square 2x. Cos square 2x by cos square 2x becomes 1. Sin square 2x by cos square 2x becomes tan square 2x. Okay, so we are left with the integral of secant square 2x upon 1 plus half tan square 2x, tan square 2x. Please notice that the differentiation of tan square, sorry, differentiation of tan x is equal to secant square x which means that the differentiation of tan 2x will be secant square 2x into 2 because we multiply the coefficient of x. 
So I'm going to replace tan 2x with t, which implies that the dt by dx will be secant square 2x into 2. Okay, which means that dt upon 2 sec square 2x will be dx. So now let's change the variable in the integral. So y is equal to sec square 2x upon 1 plus t square because it stands square 2x t square by 2 into dt upon 2 sec square 2x. So this term gets cancelled and we have to take this 1 by 2 over here outside the integral. We are left with dt upon 1 plus I am going to be writing this as t upon root 2 the whole square. Okay, because t square by 2 can be written as t upon root 2 the whole square. Now recall that the integral of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is tan inverse x. This means that the integral 1 upon 1 plus t root t by root 2 the whole square will be tan inverse t upon root 2. And now we have to divide the coefficient of t which is 1 by root 2. So now let's take this to the numerator and add an arbitrary constant also. So this becomes root 2 upon 2 tan inverse t by root 2 plus c. I can write this as 1 by root 2. Now let's replace t with tan 2x upon root 2 and add an arbitrary constant. Now as you can see there is no differential term left and there is no term left to integrate which means that this is our final answer. This was a long and tricky one but we got there.